वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ वी एल एस आई डिजाइन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर संदीप गर्ग एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन ओरियंटल कॉलेज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी भोपाल इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आर स्टडीड वेरियस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द वी एल एस आई डिजाइन ना इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी द साइज एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव गॉर्डन इमोर नंबर ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर्स पर स्क्वेर इंच एज डबल अप्रोक्सिमेटली एवरी एटीन मंथ दैट इज कंप्यूटिंग पावर डबल एवरी एटीन मंथ means the number of transistors or components become double after every one and a half year later on this statement becomes famous as moore's law due to increase in density of the chip the number of transistors becomes double due to which the power consumption area and the delay of the device reduces and the chip becomes more faster the computer hardware continues to get smaller cheaper and faster due to this increase in number of components every year Now the Moore's law is not a natural law it is an observation done by Gordon and Moore by studying the previous technologies as you can see from this diagram that in 2002 the channel length between the source and drain is 180 nm in 2004 it reduces to 130 nm in 2006 it again reduces to 90 nm in 2008 it becomes 65 nm and in 2010 40 nm in 2015 it becomes 16 nm so the technology as technology advances the channel length between the source and drain gets reduces due to which the number of components of the chip also increases that reduces the power consumption delay and area of the device scale of integration scale of integration means the number of components fabricated on a single chip the number of components fitted into a standard ic represents its integration scale in other words it's a density of components on the chip it can be classified as small scale integration it has less than 100 components on a single chip means we are fabricating less than 100 components on a single chip medium scale integration means we are fabricating less than 500 components on a single chip but more than 100 components large scale integration means we are fabricating more than 500 components but less than 3 lakh components on a single chip very large scale integration means more than 3000 3 lakh components are fabricated on the single chip and very very large scale integration means more than 15 lakh components are fabricated on a single chip so as technology advances you can see that number of components on the single chip gets increases due to which the area delay and power consumption reduces due to which the performance of the chip enhanced now comparison of ic and discrete circuits these are the various parameters over which integrated circuits and discrete circuits are compared first is voltage supply Integrated circuits can work on low voltages while DC circuits require comparatively more voltage as compared to the integrated circuits. Second parameter is power. Integrated circuits can handle limited amount of power while discrete circuits can handle much more power than compare as compared to the IC. So these are preferred where large power is to be handled. Third one is size. Integrated circuits are very smaller in size while the discrete circuits are larger in size due to which they require more space. Now another parameter is the cost. integrated circuits are cheaper due to which they are preferred when the cost is a major parameter while in case of discrete circuits they are costly than integrated circuits because here we are using the discrete components like resistance inductance and capacitance and they are all solder on a pcb printed circuit board that's why discrete circuits are costlier than in the integrated circuits last parameter is the complexity complex circuitry on a chip may be used to obtain improved performance characteristics means in case of integrated circuits we can place large number of components to form a complex circuitry on a single chip so that the performance can be enhanced and more and more functions can be built on a single chip while in case of discrete circuits if we build a large number of functions on a single pcb then it is very difficult to handle and in case of failure the device will not work properly so the performance is not good in case of discrete circuits if we are fabricating large number of components on a single pcb now in order to understand the size and complexity of the integrated circuit a y chart is presented here this y chart captures the consideration in designing semiconductor devices here you can see that there are three domains in this y chart first one is the structural domain next one is the behavioral domain third one is the physical domain all the three domains are divided into various abstraction levels means there are different levels defined in each of these domain in the structural domain the topmost level is the processors then we go back go down to alu ram then we go down to gates and then to transistors similarly in the behavioral domain first the topmost level is the systems then algorithm register transfer logics and then lowest level is the transfer function similarly in the physical domain 
the topmost level is the physical partition then floor plan module layout cell layout and the lowest level is the transistor so in structural domain and the physical domain the lowest level is the transistors now in creating a stru structural description from a behavioral one is achieved through the process of high level synthesis or logical synthesis similarly a physical description can be developed from a structural domain through layout synthesis as we move down in the wire chart we divide the design into the smaller ones means we divide the processor into alu ram then or lower level to gates and flip flops and then to lower level to transistors as in the structural domain on moving from transistors to processors we can see that gates are implemented using transistors and finally the processors are implemented using the alu and ram so as we move inside the wire chart we can get finer details of the design and the building blocks of the design as you seen in the y chart the design hierarchy involves the principle of divide and conquer approach means we will divide the bigger design into smaller parts until the simplest level is achieved because it is very easy to manufacture at the simplest level now here we can design the given task into the design flow process domain using behavioral structural or either geometrical domain here we can see that from manufacturing from the lowest level it become very easier to design the chip so now you have to understand this let's take an example of designing a 16 bit adder as shown in the figure below here this 16 bit adder is first break up into four four bit adder and then that four bit adders are designed using this half adder means we are going from top to bottom here we can see that the whole chip of 16 bit adder is divided into four modules of four bit adders further dividing the four bit adder into one bit adder or half bit adder the one bit addition adder is the simplest designing process and its internal circuitry is also easy to fabricate on the chip now connecting all the last four adders we can design a four bit adder and then connecting this four four bit adders we can design a 16 bit adder so in this way the bigger design or the 16 bit adder can be designed using the lower half bit adder or the simpler design so the manufacturing is very easy at this level so this is all about size and complexity of the integrated circuit thank you for listening the lecture